Wubba lubba dub dub! What's up Summoners? Welcome to another Summoners War video. My name is Vinny Vendetta and I welcome you guys to my channel. Today we are going to be going on another adventure into our guild battles. I'm sorry if there's a ton of background noise right now. My washer is going and it's right behind me. So hopefully that's not too much of an issue. But we're going to jump right into it guys. We got a Guardian 1 guild battle going on. Um, we're going to play around with some units. And then I have a little bit of an announcement slash question for you guys at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, let's get started. So, we are going up against Too Good For You. They are too good for you. Um, let's see what we're looking at. We've still got a couple green bars uh, left. So we need to attack the fullest green bars first, as always, guys. Be respectful to your guildmates. Um, try to get as much down as you can so that you can get a win. And then worry about getting yourself extra points. Uh, so we're going to go for this guy first. Alright, so right off the bat, I want to bring Chow for my first fight here. Um, Chow's going to be great all on his own, just going against two fire units. Um, he's tanky enough to sustain whatever they're going to throw at him. And he can't be heal blocked by the Kumar, so he's we're not going to be worried about that. So we're taking Chow. I think Annabelle's another great choice. Um, she can defense break force AoE, um, but... I'm not sure if I want to bring my Annabelle. She's not that tanky. She's actually very squishy. Um, I have her for an attack build. She's got low crit rate. But I think we're going to squeeze her in there. I think we could do it. They have two fire units. So I'm going to be pretty cocky here. And um, take my Annabelle. And... Ooh, does Shondra have runes? He does, but they're not like one with good runes. Could we do it anyway? He's got no attack. We don't need the guard... But it's Chandra, so why not? And we'll take crit rate, that way they're critting. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. I never use Chandra ever. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him here. Why not? And down below we have two wind and a Theomars. Uh, no speed lead, so I know you guys already know it. We're taking our speed team. We're taking Bernard, we're taking Galleon, and we're taking Teshar. Uh, attack, wind attack lead, hopefully just nuke them all down. The wind monkey might live. Theomars is going to pop his door, and we'll be good to go. I don't even think we need the defense break for the Theomars. We should stay able, still be able to pop his door. So let's let's take it on. Let's do attack number one. Hopefully we come out uh, victorious because we want to save all of our swords. Sorry, I just noticed that I'm like really low in the in the frame of things. Let me, let me scoot up here. Okay, so Galleon Derp right off the bat. Let's go ahead and defense break. All right, if either one of these water units does 30,000 damage to, or either one of these fire units does 30,000 damage to my chow, I would be very upset. All right, I don't think we even need to uh, do this for the Zyros. We're gonna save the Chandra to do that. We're gonna try to take out this Kumar. All right, there's the heal. Let's go ahead and slow them. All right. That's not even bad damage, considering his second rune is like plus nine. Um, and he's got a, a five-star crit damage rune, uh, no attack, so pretty decent, pretty decent. I just never really need the uh, guard or the hug ability that uh, Chandra has, so I never really use him. But he does decent enough damage where I, I might start messing around with him a little bit more. All right, so we got all the defense breaks. Chasun is dead. Monkey's going to be close. Theomar's going to pop in door. Come on, let's get crits all the way around. Boom, boom, boom. All right, well, well, things kind of switched around. We killed the monkey. We didn't kill Chasun. Chasun's going to take a 13k crit. Right, Bernard? 13k? Oh, uh, we didn't crit, but it's still 8,000 damage. That Fallen Blossoms didn't do crap. And we're good to go. Um, okay, I'm actually, I'm not too excited that this Theomars gets to move with an attack buff. So let's try to attack break. Perfect. Even it out. And we're good. We are good. Perfect. Two wins, no deaths, no deads, no deaths. I call that a win. Let's go for the next one. What do we got? Ew, dragons. Okay, I think I think we can keep the same team on the second fight. Um, do I want to change it up? I could do Copper Bulldozer and Bulldozer the... Um, Ritesh or the uh, Dragon and then Copper Brad. Um, I don't know if we'll be fast enough out of the gate to take care of that. 
which makes me want to bring my speed team. But we're not. We're not, are we? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just change it up. Uh, we'll do that. We'll take the Copper Bulldozer team. So we need uh, Copper Bulldozer, and we need QB. Where is he at? Pretty soon, guys, we're going to start playing with the Homunculus. Um, so we can mess around with him, but he's not on he's not on a guild battle build right now He's still on my necro build. All right up top Up top. Uh, we're gonna take out Chandra. We're gonna bring in Praha to strip the Chloe And I would love a wind unit, you know, I just said we're not gonna bring the homunculus But I want to bring the homunculus um, Why not he's not gonna do a ton of damage but He's going to be a wind unit. Um, if Theomars uh, happens to kill him, then he's going to revenge, or he's going to come back and do a ton of damage. I'm hoping he's going to help me kill this uh, Kater God, not Katarina, not Chloe. What is her name? Camila. Thank you, Jesus. Camila. Um, but you know what? We're going to have troubles if we're critting her a lot. So ignore defense sounds better, but then they have Chloe... Uh, back and forth, back and forth, what do you want to do? I think this will be fine. We're going to take out Theomars first. Then we'll take out Chloe. And then we'll take out Camila. I think we can live long enough. If we take out the Theomars relatively quick, we should be fine. Because they don't have any more defense break. We're doing it. That's what we're taking. We're going to play with Homunculus. Even though he's not on a guild battle type build. He's on a necro build. Lots of multi hits. Uh, heal block, slow, defense break, and branding. So... We'll see how it goes. There goes immunity. Let's turn him into dots. Come on. Oh, we miss our one target. We miss our primary target. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to pull through here. Um, I don't even know who I want. I guess... I mean, even if we go for this Camila, the crits are going to reset her. Um, but we're not going to do much to this Theomars right now. But do we go for him anyway? I think we just go for him anyway. Uh, between the homunculus and chow, we should be able to pop in door uh, even with the immunity. I think. Ooh, praha. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts mucho. Let's hopefully we can get a heal. Let's okay. We at least pop in door. Good. We'll heal up. Hopefully praha can take another hit. Ooh. All right. It's getting scary. Let's go ahead and get rid of theomars. Theomars is gone. So now we're working with a Chloe. Oh, nice violent proc. Okay, let's... We're gonna crit her. We don't want to crit her, but we gotta do something. We gotta do something. We didn't want to. There goes our heals. Alright, um, we gotta work on this Camila. We just gotta work on getting her down. That's probably gonna be our best bet here, guys. Because we, we have a lack of heals now. Uh, hopefully we can get a good branding... Uh, but we need it. We need another turn for that. If she keeps going for Chow, we'll be okay, I think, because Chow, God willing, will be able to heal through the damage that this Camila is doing. All right. Let's just keep just keep violent procking. It's what we need right now if we're going to get through this Camila. And if this Chloe kills the Homunculus, then he's going to come back even stronger. Hopefully, help us finish off this uh, Camila, and then Chow can solo Chloe any day. All right. Oh, we missed a crit. That's going to hurt us. We needed that crit. Oh, an immunity. This is looking bad, guys. We might lose Chow. We might lose Chow here. And, and it, not a good time. Okay, come on, buddy. We need some crits. We need some crits, Chow. All right, there goes our homunculus. This is our chance. We... Oh, come on. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, guys. Maybe we should have gone for Chloe first. But I don't think we're going to do it. Unless we violent proc. No. Crud. Okay, so we have to win this fight now. Let's get rid of the Varad right away. He's going to be our biggest problem child. So let's defense. Let's just kill him. Ignore defense. We didn't ignore defense. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem. Okay. Oh, crud. Okay. Let's get rid of this dragon. Even though he just used his ability, he's not going to be as much of a threat. Uh, we still got to get rid of him. Oh, we're going to lose copper. We're going to lose... And we lost... 
I messed the team. There goes our defense breaking Crip up. They are so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. We know Bulldozer is not going to solo that. We'll just save him. We probably won't end up using him. But man, did we just get whooped. We probably went in there. I think we went there a little bit too cocky. Uh, we should have stepped back a little bit and taken safety teams. Uh, teams that we knew were more reliable, but we didn't. So that's on us. And we'll just have to pick it up from here. So what do we got up top? Um, I should be able to easily outspeed this. So we're going to do that for the top. And we're going to take Taylor this time. We're going to put a nice freeze on this Steel Mars so he doesn't get to move. And should be able to one-shot the Bella and the Wunsa. All right. Down below, we're looking at Chloe, Lucian, Zyros. Um, and my Praha is dead, so I don't have a stripper. But here's what I'm going to do. I think I want to fight fire with fire. I want to bring my own Lucian comp versus this Chloe. Or I could bring my fire team, but my Chloe has to be really fast. And this Lucian has to be really fast because my Shihua is 175 speed. So if this Lucian, if my Shihua moves before the Lucian does, I might end up being screwed. Um, so either fire team or reverse Lucian. I'm scared my Lucian isn't going to kill the Zyros, and the Zyros will turn around and kill us. Um, I think I'm going to take the fire team. I, think I'm, I don't think the Lucian is going to be faster, so I'm probably going to take the Lucian hit. I'll probably lose Shihua, um, but I think we could recover after that and be fine still. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. First, first fight should be fine, unless this Wunsa is just the fastest Wunsa in the world. You should not beat my uh, speed boosted Bernard. My speed lead Bernard. Perfect. Okay. And we'll freeze on the DMRs. Oh, we didn't actually kill them. That's okay. That's okay. They're not going to do nearly enough damage um, to kill anybody. Uh, DMRs is still frozen, so we'll kill him this turn. We're going to have to pop through that shield now, but that's still not going to be a problem. I might actually uh, opt to kill this Bella. Yeah, we won't even... Yeah. Oh! I misclicked. I meant to click the Bella. We're still fine. Uh, we're still totally fine. Not worried even for a second. Unless the Bella defense breaks and goes nuts, but... Um, unless this Wunsa buff is just out of this world, we should be totally fine. Bella's almost dead here. She's already used her heal. We'll save time to loot until their immunity is gone. Right, come on, one more. One more turn for Wunsa. We'll go ahead and squall anyway. We'll just start working him down. Alright, now we'll speed boost. We'll freeze him. We'll defense break him. And then he's dead. One more hit. One more hit. Okay. Good. One more fight, guys. So we're definitely, yeah, like I said, this Lucian is going to be too fast, or too slow. Uh, we're too fast. Um, and we can't even put him to sleep. So we're just going to waste this turn, right? Okay, Zyros doesn't do too much. Okay, she lived. She lived. Um, we should be okay then. We should be, oh, okay, well, she died. She died. Zyros's skill is already down. So is Lucian's. Um, I can kill either one right now. And we're going to go for Lucian since he's about to move. Alright. And now we just need to work on the Zyros. Hopefully take him down quick because my Kali is very squishy. Uh, but she should be able to do a good chunk of damage. Perfect. He went for Chloe. We'll heal up a little bit. And hopefully kill the Zyros this turn. Hopefully, we need one more turn for invincibility. Oh, no. Is this going to be a Chloe versus Chloe? Oh, no, it's going to be a Zyros and Chloe versus Chloe. That immunity killed, screwed us in the heal. Oh, no. Can we still do it? Can we get rid of the Zyros? Oh, no, we can't. Ah, oh, that was such a bummer. Ah, oh, such a bummer. Uh, maybe we should have gone for Zyros since Lucian had attribute disadvantage. 
but he was going to move next. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guildies. I messed it up for you. That's my bad. Okay, guys, so that's the guild battle portion of this. Uh, the next thing is really just the question I have for you guys. I'm curious because I want to start doing something. Um, I know guild battles are somewhat entertaining to watch um, in their own right. But I use a lot of the monsters that I have. And even though I try to use um, common comps like speed comp, like a standard Bernard Galleon team, uh, Copper Bulldozer, which is farmable, Katarina, uh, QB, which is farmable, uh, Veramos, which is farmable, Veramos Bella. Um, I try to stick around there, but a lot of the times I end up just going to what I know best. And um, it's not always what you guys have. So my question to you, what natural two star and natural three star monsters do you guys want me to build? I'll six star them, I'll ruin them as best I can, and I will use them solely in Guild Wars um, or maybe in other places. But the, the, the purpose, the goal for now is for Guild Wars. So I'm looking, I want to do maybe one, maybe two. Um, six stars a week of something that you guys want to see. Maybe you're curious about building a monster or maybe you have a monster and um, you, you just you haven't really you built it but you didn't see it shine and you're curious if it has potential. I will build it. Whatever you guys want, whatever you vote in the comments, um, whatever I see the most is what I'm going to build. Um, so try to be something that I don't already have. I'll quickly just scroll here. I mean I already have like 70 something i think i'm close to 86 stars um but let me know what you guys want natural two star or natural three star don't make anything super trolly something that you think has potential let me know why and i want to build it for you guys and i want to start doing guild wars with those monsters only um and then that way we can progress into guild battles with all free to play units um so i'll take anything free to play if it had a secret dungeon or a hall of heroes um, or something like that then i'll accept those applications as well um, because that's really what i want to move to just me doing my guild battles with my own monsters it's not as entertaining and i want to stick to something that's pretty universal that anybody can come in and watch and be like oh i can build that monster because it's not a nat 5 and incredibly hard to obtain so with that said let me know what you guys think put it in the comments um just one or two maybe and whatever i see the most i know there probably won't be a ton of requests but whatever i see the most is what we're going to work on and like i said i'll try to do um one a week i'll try to i'll definitely do one a week um i'll maybe do two a week if i'm having a good week um but i can pretty consistently six star one thing in a week that's just totally random so like right now i have food sitting in my storage and I have monsters I can 6 star, I just haven't had the desire to work on them, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, a max 4 star, and tons of food here to go around. So I'm going to work on that for you guys, but I want to know what you want to see, okay? So we'll work on that. And let me know what you guys want. Um, one other thing, let me show you guys my chow rooms because I had a request for that. Uh, I believe it was Lewis in my last video. video. I wanted to see chow's rooms and stats. So these are his stats. I got them right at about 30,000 HP, 31,000. Um, <laughs> I should probably like level up his like flat attack room just to get that plus 666 off there. Um, that's probably why I lost today, bad luck. Um, so plus 666 attack, plus 43 speed. He's got a decent crit rate, it could be better. He's got a low crit damage, which I can make higher because this rune is not maxed. Um, also, I have a broken set. So if I could get a good six star crit damage rune um, that's blade here, uh, then my crit rate will go up. Uh, we'll get more crit rate from the rune, hopefully. But it's a good, it's a decent crit damage rune. It's got crit rate speed and HP and attack percent, which is everything Chow needs in one little bundle. And we got him on HP, crit damage, attack. And I used to have him on HP, crit damage, HP, uh, but I found he does more attack this way. And I think I'm going to build my second Chow and possibly go on attack, crit damage, attack um, as a YOLO Chow and see how that works out. Because I know he does more damage based on his attack scaling than he does his HP scaling. Because he does his damage does scale on both, but he scales more on attack. Alright, so that was just um, as a request for the last video, but I'm really curious. Let me know what units you guys are curious about um, that you'd be interested in seeing built. Um, also, when you 
when you tell me when you give me your suggestion if you want to see me build let me know wh why why you think it would shine or where maybe um some monsters you think it would be good with as well because one monster unless it's chow can't just solo guild battles for you you have to have pretty good team synergy uh, in order for it to work well so that's what i'm looking for that's what i want from you guys let me know what you want and i'll be happy to do that for you guys that way we can have some fun stuff and then maybe attract some other people that have different units or don't have a lot of units or free to play um that way they're not seeing all my light and dark nat fours and my nat fives and stuff like that so anyway guys thank you so much for watching stay classy summoners perfect two wins no deaths no deads no deaths i call that a win let's go for the next one what do we got Ooh, dragons okay i think i think we can keep the same team on the second fight um do i want to change it up i could do copper bulldozer and bulldozer the um Ritesh or the uh, dragon and then copper Brad. Um, I don't know if we'll be fast enough out of the gate to take care of that Which makes me want to bring my speed team But we're not we're not are we okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just change it up uh, We'll do that. We'll take the copper bulldozer team So we need uh, copper bulldozer and we need QB. Where's he at? Pretty soon, guys, we're gonna start playing with the homunculus, um, so we can mess around with him. But he's not on—he's not on a guild battle build right now. He's still on my necro build. All right, up top, up top. Uh, we're gonna take out Chandra. We're gonna bring in Praha to strip the Chloe. And I would love a wind unit. You know, I just said we're not gonna bring the homunculus, but I want to bring the homunculus. Um, why not? He's not. What's up, Summoners? Welcome to another Summoners War video. My name is Vinny Vendetta, and I welcome you guys to my channel. Today, we are going to be going on another adventure into our guild battles. I'm sorry if there's a ton of background noise right now. My washer is going, and it's right behind me. So, hopefully that's not too much of an issue. But we're going to jump right into it, guys. we got a Guardian 1 guild battle going on. Um, we're going to play around with some units. And then I have a little bit of an announcement slash question for you guys at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, let's get started. So, we are going up against Too Good For You. They are too good for you. Um, let's see what we're looking at. We've still got a couple green bars uh, left. So we need to attack the fullest green bars first, as always, guys. Be respectful to your guildmates. Um, try to get as much down as you can so that you can get a win. And then worry about getting yourself extra points. Uh, so we're going to go for this guy first. Alright, so right off the bat, I want to bring Chow for my first fight here. Um, Chow's going to be great all on his own, just going against two fire units. Um, he's tanky enough to sustain whatever they're going to throw at him. And he can't be heal blocked by the Kumar, so he's we're not going to be worried about that. So we're taking Chow. I think Annabelle's another great choice. Um, she can defense break force AoE. Um, but... Not gonna do a ton of damage, but he's gonna be a wind unit. Um, if Theomars uh, happens to kill him, then he's gonna revenge or he's gonna come back and do a ton of damage. I'm hoping he's gonna help me kill this uh, Kater God, not Katarina, not Chloe. What is her name? Camila. Thank you, Jesus, Camila. Um, but you know what? We're gonna have troubles if we're critting her a lot. So ignore defense sounds better, but then they have Chloe. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, what do you want to do? I think this will be fine. We're going to take out Theomars first, then we'll take out Chloe, and then we'll take out Camila. I think we can live long enough. If we take out the Theomars relatively quick, we should be fine, because they don't have any more defense break. We're doing it. That's what we're taking. We're going to play with Homonkis, even though he's not on a guild battle type build. He's on a necro build, lots of multi hits, uh, heal block, slow, defense break, and branding. So we'll see how it goes. There goes immunity. Let's turn him into dots. Come on. Oh, we miss our one target. We miss our primary target. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to pull through here. Um, I don't even know who I want. I guess, I mean, even if we go for this Camila, the crits are going to reset her 
Um, but we're not going to do much to this Thea Mars right now. I'm not sure if I want to bring my Annabelle. She's not that tanky. She's actually very squishy. Um, I have her for an attack build. which has got low crit rate. But I think we're going to squeeze her in there. I think we could do it. They have two fire units, so I'm going to be pretty cocky here and um, take my Annabelle. And, ooh, does Chandra have runes? He does, but they're not, like, really good runes. Could we do it anyway? He's got no attack. We don't need the guard. But it's Chandra, so... Why not? And we'll take crit rate, that way they're critting. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. I never use Chandra, ever. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him here. Why not? And down below, we have two Wind and a Theomars. Uh, no speed lead, so I know you guys already know it. We're taking our speed team. We're taking Bernard, we're taking Galleon, and we're taking Teshar. Uh, attack, wind attack lead. Hopefully just nuke them all down. The Wind Monkey might live. Theomars is going to pop his door, and we'll be good to go. I don't even think we need the defense break for the Theomars. We should still be able, still be able to pop his door. So let's, let's take it on. Let's do attack number one. Hopefully we come out... Uh, victorious because we want to save all of our swords sorry I just noticed that I'm like really low in the in the frame of things let me, let me scoot up here okay so galleon derped right off the bat let's go ahead and defense break all right if either one of these water units does 30,000 damage to or either one of these fire units does 30,000 damage to my chow I would be very upset all right I don't think we even need to uh, do this for the Zyros we're gonna save the Chandra to do that we're gonna try to take out this Kumar all right, there's the heal. Let's go ahead and slow them. Right. That's not even bad damage, considering his second rune is like plus nine. Um, and he's got a, a five-star crit damage rune. Uh, no attack, so pretty decent. Pretty decent. I just never really need the uh, guard or the hug ability that uh, Chandra has, so I never really use them. But... He does decent enough damage where I, I might start messing around with him a little bit more. Alright, so we got all the defense breaks. Chasun is dead. Monkey's going to be close. Theomar's going to pop in door. Come on, let's get crits all the way around. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, whoa. Well, things kind of switched around. We killed the monkey. We didn't kill Chasun. Chasun's going to take a 13k crit. Right, Bernard? 13k? Oh, we didn't crit, but it's still 8,000 damage. That Fallen Blossoms didn't do crap. And we're good to go. Um, okay, I'm actually I'm not too excited that this Theo Mars gets to move with an attack buff. So let's try to attack break. Perfect. Even it out. And we're good. We are good. 